Bob's mom and his brother and brother's wife before we head back to Oregon. It's been a great trip. Yeah. The little shop in Murphy's, if you're ever in the area, go to Murphy's, California. They, it's the cutest little town, full of really cute restaurants and shops. Bob and I need to go back together. If you like yarn and needleworks things, and they had embroidery stuff, all kinds of stuff, um, go to Maisie Blue. I'll link their website down below. They do have an online shop, so you can order from them online, support them. They're a small mom and pop. They, the prices are pretty good. They have really nice yarns and things, and it was um, a really good experience. I really loved it. And there was there's a really good... Um, thrift shop in town too, Murphy's Thrift Store, um, which I enjoy too, and uh, got a couple things out. So yeah, now we just need to head over towards Mom Erin's house, and I'm not allowed to stop anywhere and buy anything else because we don't have any more room to get it home. Yeah, no more room. Our bags are full. They are very full. So anyway, yep. that's okay. I need to drink my coconut water. Can't take it with me, and yeah. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hello everybody, it is Monday, September 11th. It is afternoon already, let's see, 2.29 p.m. It is the day that we, at least here in the U.S., remember all the victims of the terrorist attack on September 11th. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up. It's all over the internet, especially today. Anyway, I remember where I was. I remember what I was doing like it was yesterday. I'm sure you do too. All right, anyway, that aside, I am hanging out here in the art room, loving that for myself. Um, it's a little bit on the cooler side today, which I'm not mad about, but it means I get to wear one of my newer purchases. Yes, it's way too big for me. I bought it that way intentionally. It's from Walmart, FYI. Um, I just got the vlog edited for last week and it is rendering right now. I've got all the websites I need to link in the video description lined up for copying pa pasting. Um, I've got my knitting bag up here. Uh, sorry, crochet bag. I don't really knit that much anymore. Yes, I know how. It's not my favorite. Anyway, so I'm gonna work on that. I've got to do dishes and I think take the last load of vacation laundry out of the dryer. Um, otherwise, you know, it's just the usual. Back to business as usual. Um, being creative when I can, finding time for things when I can, in between playing Oma because, you know, priorities. <laughs> anyway, um, I did take the new minimalist art bag with me uh, on our quick weekend trip. It worked out so well, you guys. So when I had downtime or I needed to just t chill and sort of, that's my version of meditating, I got that bag out, I worked in it, filled up the coloring book again, even though I made it bigger. So glad I have more in here somewhere. I need to find them because I need to pull the one out that I used and I need to refill it. Um, oh, there they are. Found it. Um, <laughs> but it worked out super well. I, I'm very pleased with that. And um, yeah, it was a fun weekend. I'm glad we got to see everybody and uh, yeah. Now back to our regular scheduled programming. Maybe, no guarantees, I'll be back. Vlog is edited and up and scheduled, yay. I'll be sharing an Amazon wool yarn find that I'm kind of enjoying. Um, my round yoke sweater, I just finished the pattern where I got that from, her Etsy listing. And um, that's a pattern I'll keep using. That's really easy. I love the way it turns out, the fit's good anyway. Um, I shared the couple of things I found at Murphy's, California, the little yarn shop. They do have an online store. Cute little mom and pop yarn shop. They, I'm sure they would love your support if you need supplies. And if you don't see something listed, give pop them an email or give them a call. Um, also the Murphy's thrift store. So if you're in the area, go pay an in-person visit to these. If you're in the Sonora, California area, they're about a 30 minute drive from Sonora and it's a beautiful drive. So anyway, now I'm gonna work on that, put the new blank book in, and I discovered that a couple of my pens over here that I took with me are kind of the same color. So I'm gonna go through some of my back stock and, and switch some colors out and get it reset for the next thing. All right, I'll be back.
Okay, I started a new sweater before I left. And if you saw the clip right before this, you saw me taking out what I did before I left. I like that pattern very much and I can see doing it out of a different type of yarn, but I didn't like the texture and pattern I was seeing in the yarn that I wanna use right now. I did have another pattern I wanted to use, but I didn't think I had enough yarn. But I just found another bundle of yarn from the same dye lot on eBay. So we're gonna do the other pattern. It's a little challenging and I, um, there's some stitches in here I haven't done before. Uh, but that being said, it doesn't seem like a super hard pattern. And again, it's done in the round, so there's no seams, which I like. Um, yeah, I may change a couple of stitches because they are a little bit more difficult than I would prefer. And I don't think it makes any difference to how it looks. But other than that, I'll link the pattern down below. I think it's going to be a really cute sweater when it's finished. So anyway, I'm going to keep working on that and watch some YouTube. Yeah, it's almost the end of the day, so we're good. I'll be back. So before I start dinner, because I've been crocheting and it's almost 6.30 and I, yeah, lost track of time just a little bit. Um, so the sweater I thought would look better in this wool silk blend yarn is the Driftwood Tea Pattern by Yay for Yarn. Her, um, I've bought a couple patterns from her website, her Etsy store. I'll link it down below. And um, this is what it looks like right there. And I got the first few rows done already. And let's, let me turn the camera. I got the first few rows done already. I do like the way this pattern in this yarn looks already. So. We're go, and that's what we're going to do out of that yarn. Um, anyway, I need to stop right now because I need to fix dinner. I'll be Morning. back. It is Tuesday, September 12th, 10 38 a.m. I am sitting here, um, having a snack, drinking my coconut water, um, watching some YouTube. I did a couple of chores, waiting for Junior to come because it's babysitting day. So Sorry, text from my dentist. I have a dentist appointment Friday. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so that's what's up for today. I'm going to try to get some more crocheting done. I also have to do another baby set. Uh, my husband's boss is having a baby. Um, I need to see if he can find out if it's boy, girl, or should I just do neutral? So we'll see. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's what's up for today. And we'll see what kind of creativity we get up to. I don't know depends on the mood of Junior because he's priority. So there's that. I'll be back. Okay guys, Junior's gone home. I got a couple ro more rows done on the sweater I'm working on. Um, but now Bob is off of work and so we're gonna go get some steps in, much needed steps. And yeah, I'll be back. One of the neighbors got a too close to the mailbox yep. uh, notice on their car. Never seen that before. We got picky post office delivery people around here. We got yelled at at the kids' house once for parking too close to the box. Oh yeah, she yelled. She yelled. Oh, she yelled. She didn't leave a note. She yelled at you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go walk the neighborhood, see what we can see. I'll be back. Hey guys. Good morning. It's ten thirty-two a.m. Tuesday. No. Wednesday. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know. Wednesday, September 13th. Um, <clears throat> obviously we're in the car, we're headed out to go run some errands. Um, we have to go grocery shopping too, but I'm gonna do that later after work with Mr. Um, I'm gonna run all the other errands today while he's working. This weekend's gonna be a pretty busy one, so we're gonna try to get everything done during the week. Um, this weekend we got to drive up to my dad's and um, do some work on Subi here and uh, yeah she needs an oil change too I don't know if they're going to be able to do that but I'm going to remind both of them later today anyway uh, I have a package to mail I'm going to pop by the two 
thrift stores that are on the way and I've got to stop at the drugstore and maybe Fred Meyer. I've got a bunch of birthday cards to get because it's September and coming up is a bunch of birthdays. So, and we also had a nephew who he and his wife just had a baby boy and we need to send him a card and welcome him into the family. So yeah, it is a thing. All right, that's it for the minute. I also have a crocheting I wanna do and I wanna to try to get my sweater I'm currently working on done by this weekend or pretty close because I have to do another baby blanket, not for the nephew, for somebody else. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that on the way to and for my dad's I think. Dad's two hours away so should be able to make good progress. All right, that's it, enough chatting for me. Let's go see what we can see and I'll be back. I also wanted to say on this last bout of cleaning out the art room and purging more stuff I'm not getting, I'm not using and getting rid of it, I found something that I forgot I had and I wanna see if I can incorporate it into my abstract watercolors. So keep an eye out on the channel for that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do I do uh, paint, collage, um, painting in acrylic and watercolor, collage. Um, I also started my creative journey sewing and crocheting. I do know how to knit. It's not my favorite thing, but I do know how to knit. And uh, yeah, and embroidery, needlework. What do they call it now? Slow stitching. There you go. Um, so. Yeah, I do all kinds of things. Wherever my creative muse takes me, that's where we're headed. Right now, she's been into the sewing, needlework, and crochet. Um, the other things are always there in the back of the mind, but yeah. Anyway, all right, let's go see what we can see. I'll be back. Okay, I've been for a while looking for a thrifted sweater with decent or semi-decent fiber content that I could unravel. I've seen a lot of videos on this. I've never tried it before um, other than a project I'm working on that I don't like how it's turning out. Um, I finally found one today. Now, is it going to be the perfect choice for this? No idea. Is it going to be too felted to want to pull apart? No idea. Um, it is a really pretty colorway and it's cotton poly spandex, um, which, I mean, it's not like 100% wool or anything, but I, I did like it. And so we're going to, I brought it, we're going to try it. I got, of course, senior discount because, you know, you're girls of an age. So anyway, that was one stop Goodwill. I also found two books for Junior. So, um, because we read every time he comes over. So anyway, on to the next stop. I've got a few I've got to make before I can go home. So yeah. All right. On to the next. It is almost 6 p.m. Thursday, September 14th, and I am back in my pajamas again. <laughs> uh, I was babysitting all day, so I haven't had a chance to pick up the camera. Um, I did get some more unraveling done on the sweater I thrifted this week. And I have one more sleeve to go and a little bit of another piece. And I already have four or five big giant skeins of yarn. So, yay. Uh, anyway, Bob has a Masonic Lodge meeting, so he's going to go to that. Um, I'm going to finish unwinding said yarn and um, just relax at home and chill. I did a color depositing hair mask and um, took a shower after Junior left. Got all the spit up off of me, <laughs> you know, all the things. So anyway, um, tomorrow we have dental appointments and I need to go to the auto, auto parts store. Saturday we're driving up to my dad's and he is a retired auto mechanic, for those who don't know, and master machinist. And he and Bob are going to change the oil in my car, but there's also uh, one of the seats, the passenger size seat, front seat, motor that pushes it back is not working and we got a new motor so they're gonna try to fix that aka replace it so we'll see what happens all right i'm gonna go chill for a second and when bob leaves we'll finish unwinding that sweater i'll be back hey guys all right it is 1 51 p.m friday september or something 15th <laughs> Um, I just got out of the dentist, got my teeth cleaned, everything looks good. Um, spent the morning just doing a few chores 
and crocheting, working in my purple sweater. Um, we're headed tomorrow early in the morning up to my dad's. It's about a two hour drive. He is gonna work on the car, on this car. As I said before, he's a retired mechan auto mechanic and master machinist. So Bob stopped at the hardware store, I'm uh, hardware store, yay, yay, yay. Auto parts store and got the parts that we need um, that we didn't already have. And so yeah, we're gonna go do that. I'm debating stopping at the store to pick up some vegetables to go with dinner tonight. can just make it work with what we have. I have no idea. All right, we'll see. I'll be back. Well, he's figuring out the radio situation. Yes, we're in the car. We're in the Subaru. Um, and we're going to head up to my dad's so they can work on the car. I've got my crochet bag in my lap because of course I do. I'm going to work on my sweater and yeah, I'm, I'm guessing we're the whole day up at my dad's house, but we'll see. All right. I'll be back. If you just saw this clip, you saw the clip of me changing my outfit and trying on my new sweater. Now, in all honesty, it turned out a little bigger than I thought it was going to. I, I will do the pattern again. It was super easy. I really liked the stitch pattern and everything, but I would go down one or two sizes even from what I the size I thought I was going to be. But welcome to my journey with clothing lately. But anyway, I do like it very much. And um, I'm going to block it and I can adjust the size a little bit when I block it. But anyway, it's gonna be cute. Um, and I, you guys, we got my car fixed today. It didn't even take um, hardly any time. I mean, a couple hours. Um, so for those that don't know, the passenger side seat in my Subaru 2011 Outback 
uh, the motor that pushes the seat forward and back stopped working a few months ago. And the dealership wanted $1,500 to $3,000 to fix it. They had to replace the seat. That was the only way to fix it. So my dad and husband looked at it and husband found a part on eBay, just the motor for 60 bucks. It cost us that and taking my dad out to lunch and it's fixed. You gotta love having a retired auto mechanic in the family. I mean, you know, anyway, that was a great end to this week. I loved it. And bonus, I was able to get quite a bit of work done on the sweater coming and going for my dad's because he's two hours away. When we got home, I just added a little bit more to the sleeves. It is sort of kimono style. Uh, if Again, you saw me in the, saw the pictures. I think next time if I try it again, I might make longer sleeves. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Check the video description for relevant links. Please like, share, and subscribe. I, will appre I do appreciate that. I am currently adjusting to being Oma and fitting, that, fitting my creativity in around that and figuring out how to be productive. Today was the first day I felt like I was successful. But, I mean, you know, the grandson takes priority. Sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, all right, that's it for now. I hope you all have had a great week. Have a great day, all that stuff. Don't forget to go do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.